gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. Better than he was before. Better. Stronger. Faster. All right. Let's start Orion Project Part 2. Okay, so my second picture in my Orion project didn't quite go to plan. Uh, so after I got it all polar aligned and focused, some high hazy clouds moved in, but I let it go the rest of the night just to see if they'd go away. They did not. So the image was pretty horrible. The stars looked like dinner plates. Um, it was just awful. The guiding was bad. Uh, that might be because of the haze. I don't know. But it doesn't look like it's going to be too good a weather for the next couple of weeks. There's going to be clouds and rain and snow. By the time that's gone, there's going to be a full moon again. So I've made a decision. I'm going to tear my mound apart. Disassemble. Dead. Disassemble. I'm going to see what I can do to try and improve the guiding. I tore it apart when I first got it, when I put the on-step controller on it and put the belts and pulleys and stuff. I tore everything apart except for the bearings. I couldn't figure out how to get them out. They're pressed in, but now I have an idea, so we're going to try that. I know a little more about mounts now than I did then, so... I think I made a few mistakes, but this time when I get it back together, I'm going to spend a lot of time on the two worm gears, try to get the backlash down to nothing, hopefully, but we'll see. So hopefully this will improve my guiding. So I guess join me for better or worse. We'll see what I do to it. All right, this is the Bracer Exos 2 mount. It's a pre-Explorer Scientific. I don't know if they made any changes after they bought the company, but we're gonna tear this one apart. So the first thing we're going to need is a Diet Mountain Dew. So take the Poroscope cap off first. Take the polar scope, little cover off. Okay, we'll take the polar scope off. It should just unscrew like that. Then remove the counterweight shaft. Unscrew the little white thing on the top and unscrew the shaft. <laughs> okay, next we're going to remove the motors, the RA and the deck. First we'll have to loosen up the belts, so we'll just loosen these four screws on each motor mount so we can get some slack in the belt. So I got shut short belts that I actually have to take the motor mounts off before I can get the belts out. So that's a 3 16 Allen wrench. For the deck it's this top bolt. A 
I just like to keep the bolts with the motor mounts and the RA is through a hole in the back here same size 3 16 Okay, next we're going to take the setting circle off of the deck axis. I use two channel locks and loosen that first nut. Come right out and the setting circle comes off. So you will notice on my setting circle here, there's a, a spacer ring behind it there. Okay, so now we're gonna take off the two worm gears. The RA has three bolts here and two on the underneath. Here, you have to remove these three right here are your adjustment screws to adjust your backlash. So we'll go more into detail on those when we're putting it back together. And the two on the sides hold or what pulls the worm gear into the ring gear. And the deck axis has three on the side here, just like the three for adjustment, and then two on the top. So let's get those off. middle one here you just have to loosen a little bit okay that's what a worm gear looks like You'll notice this one has bearings here and here. And you just will remove this and we can pull out the worm gear itself. Okay, next we're going to take this knot off of the deck axis on the back. Uh, it's held on with three lock screws that you can reach by going down through this little slot here. There are three of them. You just turn this until they line up. It is a 564th Allen. So we'll just loosen them up a little bit. One, two, three. Okay, this does have two little detents on the side here. Um, sometimes you can just, that yeah, worked use your allen key to twist it there is a special tool you can get i have used just some snap ring pliers to do it also but today i don't have to get them out right now i guess Okay, and there you can see the lock screws. So now the deck should just pull out, and there we go. All 
All right, here's the duck axis. On mine, there are two plastic washers right here, or spacers, whatever you call them. One black one, one clear one. And the ring gear should just, if you twist it a little bit, should just come right off like that. Okay, that's the deck axis complete. Okay, now for the RA axis, basically has the same setup. You just remove this screw on the top here, thumb screw. And the setting circle will just come off. There's a hole there that the screw goes into. And then through the hole where the screw was, you'll be able to find the lock nuts, or the lock screws that, the three of them that lock this nut on. And it'll be the same size. Here's the other axis. We got black grease. We got spacers on the bottom. Black one and a white one. And then the ring gear should just come out like that. All right, so there are two bearings in this axis and two bearings in this axis. That's our next step, try to get those out. Let's go see what we can do. All right, bearing removal 101. I've already removed this bearing, so it seems to work. Um, I'm trying super hard not to damage the mount body. I don't really care too much about the bearings. Um, I found out that two of the bearings were not really moving too well. They were pretty stiff. One was actually, you had to really wipe it off and put your fingers on it and twist it to get it to move. So I'm going new bearings. So what I've been doing is just Placing a screwdriver on the edge of the bearing, trying to stay away from the mount body and just whack them pretty hard with this mallet here. And, and they pop right out. So there we go. There are my four bearings. They're all four different sizes. Uh, we'll be talking about bearings in the next video, but for now, I'm gonna take all my parts, uh, wash them off with mineral spirits, clean them down, and then we'll re-grease them and put them back together in the next video. So for now, I'm gonna say goodbye. Uh, if you wanna make sure and see the next video, hit notifications. Like, share, subscribe, whatever it takes. I'll talk to you later and clouds still suck.